Hey everybody, welcome back to Tens of Motorsports. Today we're gonna to be putting an M3 exhaust on a non-M engine. But before we get into that, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Like if you enjoy this type of content. If you're enjoying this build, make sure you are following us on Nikki underscore Nightmare 46. That's the Instagram for this car specifically. Also in the description, we will have a Google Docs link where we are actually putting the build list for this car and it is slowly getting larger and larger. But if you're wanting to see everything that's going into this car, and we also have a build list for our 330Ci race cars and some of the other cars that we have on our our channel. If you want to see the rest of those build lists, you can check out our Instagram where we have a Linktree account in our bio and all of our stuff is on there, including a link to our second channel and a link to our merch as well. All right, so this is actually my second time recording the intro. So today's video, as I'm recording this now, has already been completed and uh, I got all done doing this and was wrapping everything up and I realized that I didn't have my microphone hooked up correctly. So here I am re-recording the intro. Um, this car right here, as many of you know, has an M54 B30 in it, which is the non-M engine. Now this car initially was an M3. We bought this car to build the S54 wagon. So when we bought this car, it had E46 M3 aftermarket catless headers. Those went with the engine over to the wagon. So now what we have left is our mid pipes and our muffler. I did have to take about this much off of this exhaust to make sure that I was able to make the wagon work. So the wagon's exhaust is um, S54, S54 headers, S54 flanges, non-M the rest of the way back. This car is going to have S54 headers, because somebody put S54 headers on it for some reason, so they cut the original one off and then welded S54 headers on it. So this car basically has an entire M3 exhaust. It's pretty straightforward. In order to get this done, all we have to do is take the 330CI exhaust that came with the green car and take this much off and then put it onto this exhaust here. So let's go look at the two exhausts side by side. I'll explain a little bit more uh, what exactly we're planning on doing and we'll get everything done. This was simple. It wasn't easy, but it was simple because this is so heavy back here that I ended up using a piece of wood that I got the muffler where I wanted it and then lowered the car down on top of it. I mean, you can see right here, you can see that you can um, just barely make out the bottom of those flanges, which means our exhaust is too high. I'm hoping that when we get this sitting where it needs to sit, get the pieces in there and weld it, that it'll bring this down just enough that it's not making a mess on there. So, so the only thing that really makes me nervous is that this bend starts really soon, but I shouldn't shouldn't be a problem. I'm gonna need to clean up these uh, gouges because when I when I cut these off to steal those parts, because I basically did I basically made this section here on the wagon. So when I stole these parts, I just cut it and was like, ah, whatever. I'm not gonna need it, but apparently I did need it but I wouldn't have been able to use the flanges that were on it anyway. So I'm not upset that I cut it. I'm just upset that, that I cut it like an absolute idiot and now it's starting to bite me in the butt. So we will clean this up and uh, hopefully have an exhaust on today. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good now because this does in fact slide into there just barely. Um, you can see where I, I got it to earlier. I don't want to do it too much because it is such a, there you go, it's such a tight fit that it's actually kind of difficult to get back off. So now that we've got that established that that fits in there, um, I did cut this out extra long just in case. And I thought maybe I'd get lucky and be able to make that corner, but it doesn't look like the corner is the same angle and it's way far away. Now I'm going to make this cut here and allow it to slide into there until the elbow. So I'm probably gonna make the cut around here and then trim back 
as needed. You only need to have it in here maybe, I don't know, a half inch or something like that. Maybe not even that far to get a really good weld on it. But I'm gonna get in there as far as I can. Um, and then, yeah, we're looking really good. I, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm glad that it fits over that. Uh, this one's pretty messed up, so I might try to get the angle grinder in here and clean that one up. But honestly, I don't see why it would stop us from using it. Like, kind of, it's under the car, it's the exhaust, who cares as long as it's not leaking. So here is how it's been working out. This flange is a bit of an angle. So it's actually kicking the pipe either um, that way or this way. So away from us or towards us. And it looks like kicking the pipe towards us was the best way to go so that we're not hitting this. We are really close to it. So I'm, I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing there. Hopefully that doesn't actually end up hitting this brace. That makes me a little bit nervous, but everything else is actually making me feel really good. Now what I'm gonna do after we've removed all of this rust that's on this, um, I might clean it up a little bit more, but I'm going to weld on this. Now, I thought, oh, I'm just gonna put, you know, a tack here and a tack here, and so basically a couple of tacks on each side and then pull the exhaust down. I think, if I can, I'm gonna do as much welding on the car as possible because the way they're sitting right here is absolutely perfect. If this was welded, we're done. The exhaust is put back on. The only thing I'm gonna do from here is weld these up, hopefully get them to fit just like they're supposed to, and then I'm gonna get new gaskets. See, so these ones are pretty beat. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. This wasn't the most complicated um, thing we had to do, but it, it definitely took a lot of time, uh, mostly because I'm new at welding. Uh, if I was an experienced welder and I, <laughs> if I wasn't using fluxes, this probably would have gone really quickly. Uh, basically, what I ended up having to do was weld, grind, and check to make sure that, to, to see where I had missed. And I was get, it was getting pretty splattery and, and blotchy and it, it welded okay, but it just felt like it wasn't getting warm enough. This exhaust system here isn't as uh, complicated as I thought it was gonna be. I thought we were gonna have to basically do the whole exhaust and I was worried about that. I knew if I took this to a shop, it'd be 1,000, 1,200 bucks and that's why we bought the welder. Uh, seeing what we had to do today, if I took it to an exhaust shop, it probably would have been around like three, 400 bucks maybe. And that's because I also have to tack weld some exhaust tips on. So you might be able to see those at the end of this video. I'm not sure uh, when this is coming out. So basically scheduling of the videos, depending on when I get the exhaust tips in is gonna dictate uh, if you guys get to see the exhaust tips in this video. So anyways, let's go look at some of the welds. I'm a little bit embarrassed to show them. Uh, they're not horrible, but you gotta remember this is like, this is my first real project. Um, I've played around with some sheet metal, played around with some exhaust that I bought from one of the local auto parts stores, but I've never actually done one on a car. So I was obviously nervous. Uh, the metal's super dirty, so I had to make sure that it was all nice and clean. Anyways, let's go take a look at that and get this video wrapped up. All right, so here are the welds. And again, they're not super beautiful, but Basically what I did was I welded and then I grinded it down and then welded again then grinded it down again I, I made sure there was enough metal there. There is overlap on this one The overlap is like this much and on this side the overlap is like an inch maybe so I'm really not worried about it leaking I was more worried about the flanges over here because This one was at an angle and thank goodness I was able to get this clamped on and then I welded it tacked a whole bunch of it and then when I brought it down and started working on it again because I was able to bring the entire exhaust down without taking it 
off the car again because <laughs> those M3 mufflers are unbelievably heavy. So I really didn't want to do that. So I was able to get this down and after I had welded this while it was in place, it is now staying that way. So there's just barely enough room in there to slide a gasket and that way we're not having to worry about any leaks in the future. I would never weld on a part of the car that you would see with how little experience I have. This is a perfect opportunity for me to learn. Nobody's gonna see it. As long as it doesn't leak, then we're good to go. So very happy with it. I still recommend this welder. Uh, this all just comes down to knowing what you're doing and having the experience. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, check us out on Instagram, and we'll see everybody in the next video. Damn!